Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and today's real user view. We're taking a look at the Arctic Gear heated camp chair. Now, Arctic Gear did reach out to me and send me this chair for free, but all the opinions in this video are mine and mine alone. I did not share this content with Arctic Gear prior to publication, but you will see this when you do. So, I've been doing a lot of heated jackets, pants, vests lately, so when I got asked to do a heated chair, I figured it's a pretty good time of the year for doing it because me, Hazel, and Amy have been doing some fire pits, roasting some marshmallows, hanging out here, and uh, with the temperatures getting a little chillier, I figured Hazel would probably use this uh, more than me, but uh, I so I figured we would we would give it a shot, and uh, we've used it for a couple of nights. Obviously, it's not nighttime right now because it's harder to film in the dark than it is to film in the light. So here we are trying to trying to get a fire going. Don't know if it's going to keep going. The wood's a little wet. It's been a rainy day, but I digress. So. Here we have the Arctic Gear Camp Chair. Now this is currently going for about $98.88 USD on Amazon. Um, and thus far, I'm liking it. It is a bit heavy. This does weigh, I think they say 17.6 pounds. Um, I don't know if that's with or without the battery in it, but it definitely has some weight to it. It is definitely a heavier chair, uh, camp chair. You know, camp chairs are usually fairly light. Bulky, but fairly light. And this is a little bulkier because it does have um, few extra features that we're going to get into um, but one thing that I like right off the bat is we have a cup holder we also have a very easily accessible pocket up the front where I've been sticking my cell phone so I don't have to dig for it in my pocket especially when we're out here doing some family time I want to take some photos so I like to grab my phone and now that I have it right here and I'm not digging in my vest or my pants pocket for it it just makes it quicker and easier so I like having this little pocket right here because the camp chairs that we currently use I must have brought them all inside because they, they froze, but uh, they're just basic camp chairs from Walmart. There's no pockets. There's a cup holder in the, uh, the armrest of one. The cup holder's down here because we have armrests that we're going to talk about here in a minute. But I like having the cup holder and an extra little stash pocket to keep my phone in. So I've been keeping my phone down there. But for this, uh, we're going to put it in my pocket because we'll be doing some moving around. Now, one of my favorite features of this chair, I've never had this in a camp chair before, is that it reclines pretty simple you just up the uh, armrests slide it back they lock into place and now I can lean back and relax and to come back from that you simply just pop up the armrests slide them back forward and lock it back into place so I like that it's pretty awesome to have uh, a reclining feature in the chair I've never had that in a camp chair before so I really appreciate that feature now this is a heated chair so we're going to talk about how to operate that there is a zipper pocket on the left hand side of the chair for the battery pack and that is also where the plug is located once you plug the battery pack in you will see that the power switch will illuminate in three different colors that's just to tell you that the power is to the chair to turn it on you simply press and hold for three seconds and by default the chair does turn on to the high setting which is indicated by red to cycle through you'll simply do a quick press and we'll go to blue which will be medium press once again you go to green, which is low, and if you press one more time, you'll cycle back to red to high. So there are three settings to this chair. High mode gets up to roughly 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Medium is 131 degrees Fahrenheit. And low is 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The chair also has a lock feature on the back so you can lock it out so you're not gonna inadvertently fold the chair up on yourself and get in that awkward, uncomfortable position of begging for help. Now right now it's currently about 40 degrees out here. It's not too cold. I'm comfortable right now in jeans, a uh, flannel shirt, and a vest. I have the chair on low. Um, battery power, uh, I feel like I'm running about the same as I have with a few of my other battery powered products. It seems like on low, I'm running about 5 to 8% battery. On medium, it's about 10 to 12. And on high, it's definitely running, uh, I'd say like 15 percent uh 20 percent of the battery uh, but i haven't really been using this on high we've been out here i think the lowest we've been out here is in like the low 30s and uh hazel had it on high for a little while but uh when she went in i put it on low and i just sat out here comfortably and let the fire burn down on low and that was completely fine for me to sit out here in the low 30s i was i had a sweatshirt on i think at the time so i was dressed similar to now probably the same jeans same boots but i had a sweatshirt on and i sat out here with the chair on low for probably about another half hour, 45 minutes. And I was completely comfortable. The fire was going as it, it, it uh, kind of died down. I was still comfortable with the radiant heat from the fire and the chair. I was actually pretty, pretty comfortable. So the heat settings are very comfortable, at least for me personally. 
uh, on medium and low to the low 30s. I haven't really used it below that. Uh, Hazel's five, so I don't really want to have her out here hanging out when it's below 30 degrees out. So thus far, um, for what we've been using, the chair's been great. I love the fact that it reclines. That's pretty awesome. I do put my beverage in here. Sometimes it's an adult beverage, sometimes it's a can of water. I usually stick my phone in the front, I have my pocket in the back, and there's also a pocket on the back of the chair where we could stick a few items as well. I haven't really used it for anything. Like, you can access it, I can reach it right now. It's, it comes like the, almost the top seam of the chair. It's okay, I mean, I haven't used it again for anything, but it's there if you need it for something. Um, but it's pretty comfortable to sit in. It's, it's it, you know, it's a camp chair. It's what you would expect from a camp chair. Um, it does recline, which is very, very nice. Um, the downside is that it is, it's bulky and it's heavy. So it's a lot, it's not a lot bulkier, but it is bulkier than a normal camp chair. And it is quite heavy. So this probably isn't something that I would throw in the car and take car camping, just because it's gonna take up a lot of real estate. Uh, it is a lot bulkier than our smaller camp chairs, which are fine for the summer anyway. I don't need a heated chair car camping in the summer. Now, if I were to be car camping in the winter, I probably would take this, at least for Hazel to sit in, especially if we're out in the snow and it's, you know, in the teens or 20s, I definitely would want something like this for her to sit in and chill in at night, especially as the campfire is dying down. So the, the downside, the negative is that it is kind of bulky and it is kind of heavy for a camp chair. The plus is that it reclines. The battery life is pretty good. It's got a bunch of variety of pockets for you. Uh, so you can keep your drinks, your beverage, your snacks, everything is pretty accessible for you. And you can just keep the battery pack in its pocket when you're not using it. That way you're not gonna lose it. The only thing that I do recommend, and I do this with all of my heated gear, is when I'm done using it, I unplug it. I will leave the battery in the battery pocket, but I will unplug the battery. That way I'm not gonna inadvertently bump it, turn it on, run the battery down. And then when I go to use it, I have no juice, which I have done in a jacket. I hung it up on the rack. I must have bumped the power switch. When I went to use it the next morning, I had no battery power. It was cold, so I was cold that day. But I, uh, I do try to remember to unplug my battery just to keep the battery life going a lot longer. So all in, do I think the Arctic Gear heated chair is worth your $100? And um, if you do a lot of like car camping or fire pit in the winter months uh, and you're, you're generally run cold, yeah, I think it's definitely worth 100 bucks. I mean, camp chairs, you get cheap ones from Walmart. I think ours were like, you know, $10, $15, but to get a halfway decent camp chair, you're probably gonna be spending 40 to $60 anyway. So this chair is really about in that same price range and it's heated and it reclines. So yes, it is a little bulkier, it is a little heavier, but once you get into those more expensive camp chairs, they're generally bulkier anyway, maybe not necessarily as heavy as this, they're probably still gonna come in, I would say somewhere between like six and 10 pounds as opposed to like 17 and a half pounds, but um, as far as bulk goes, they generally have wider armrests. They don't have like the scooped armrests, so they still are quite bulky, even folded down. So bulk-wise, it's probably gonna be about the same. Weight-wise, they'll probably be a little, little lighter. But I mean, it, it's in the same ballpark as those camp chairs. So if you do some outside fire pits, you tend to, you know, go to do some events like you know people get together, go to other people's house, you know, fire pit at the lake maybe in the cooler fall something like that, you do car camping in the winter, something like this might be really beneficial to you because the battery life, pretty good. The price range, I'd say it's about in the same ballpark as other camp chairs um, that have similar features, you know, more, a little more sturdy, a little wider, more comfortable frames. Uh, so yeah, I think it's definitely gonna be worth about a hundred bucks. I'd say the price point is right on the mark there at, at around a hundred dollars. And uh, it's, it's definitely comfortable. Hazel loved it. I, I'm finding this to be incredibly comfortable. And like, I can just, uh, just relax and take a nap right now so all in i would give it a whirl if it was my 100 bucks and i was looking for a camp chair especially one to use when it's a little more colder the colder months now it's december right now yeah i would i would give this a shot so um i definitely think it might be worth your cash roll the dice on it if you want and if you don't like it you buy it on amazon hey they got a pretty liberal return policy so if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications the next time I post a brand new video. Good night.